welcome to one and all present here. I would now request His Excellency Mr. Ambassador to please come up and give us a few words. Symbol of friendship. 
they went to China and support the Chinese people for their fighting against the invasion of uh, uh, Japanese uh, militants. And then uh, uh, Dr. Kopnitz also sacrificed his life in China uh, by helping the Chinese people. So he is really a hero and a symbol of mutual support between Chinese people and Indian people. We will never forget his contribution. And also uh, for the uh, uh, culture, we know that uh, uh, Mr. Tagore, the famous uh, poet uh, from uh, India, he also visited China, expressed his uh, support and also his strong belief of the revitalization of Asian uh, culture and civilization in the future. And also from China, we have uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Xu Fancheng and also Mr. Xu Beihong and also Professor Pan Zhou and many others. They also traveled to <coughs> India and uh, uh, extended and spread our Chinese culture and our friendship to India. So today we can see that uh, this uh, uh, seminar or conference is focused on uh, China, China India culture and people to people exchange and we are also uh, commemorating the great poets of uh, India and China, Mr. Baratia and also Professor Xu Fan Chen. I think by uh, recording their contributions, we know this history has lasted for a long time and the both people have benefited from their contribution. Well, anyway, I see this uh, tradition has been carried on nowadays with all the supports from friends from all walks of life in India. Um, I know that uh, Mr. Bas friend, he has uh, spent his whole life you know, uh, uh, supporting and uh, devoted to this great cause of China-India friendship and uh, this year he, uh, he has celebrated his uh, 80th uh, birthday. <laughs> Thank you Mr. Bhaskar. And uh, you are still uh, so vigorous and uh, uh, you know, travel all the way from Kanataka uh, to here and working tirelessly and actively to facilitate cultural and friendship between the two peoples. I send my letter of congratulations to you for your 80th birthday, and I wish you a very happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, uh, and uh, as an artist, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Rada, you have also actively exerted uh, <laughs> mother and daughter. <laughs> yes. Uh, you in Rada, you look uh, very well. Yes. She is uh, the uh, uh, the founder of the Shi Fan Chen uh, Culture Exchange uh, Center, Culture Study Center, and uh, she has also uh, uh, made great contributions to the promotion of uh, in-depth development of people-to-people -people exchange and culture exchange between China and India, and also he is uh, uh, encouraging more and more young people to participate in this great course. So we are also grateful to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and also old friends uh, such as Mr. Gopi and uh, Mr. Bharati Mohan. Yes, we met for the same the first time, but uh, we have heard about you.
for a number of time. And you also were actively engaged in the course of China-Indian friendship, and you also visited China many times. Um, and so you have a very extensive understanding of China, so that uh, you have made all, so many Chinese friends. Um, I think that is a very good way for us to understand better between each other. And you will share your experience of uh, visiting China with the Indian friends, so that they can also have a better picture of China. And uh, also, uh, I think Mr. Uh, Dr. Dox, uh, he is uh, uh, easy, yes, Dr. Dox. He's young, but uh, he is also very energetic, and he has been involved in organizing many kinds of cultural exchange programs and activities between us, and he also made contribution to the Xu Fanchang Cultural Studies Center by supporting uh, Mrs. Rada and trying to uh, introduce Mr. Xu Fanchang's legendary life and uh, academic achievements to Indian people, bringing a new bridge for closer exchange between the youth. And there are so many uh, new friends here. I cannot uh, uh, name each and every one of you, but I can see you know, the uh, enthusiasm, the friend, friendship, the sincerity, and the aspiration in your shining eyes for many generations throughout this 2,000 years. China and India have coexisted in peace and friendship. And no matter how the international situation will change, or how our domestic situation will change, China and India should make a joint efforts to uh, respect each other, to understand each other, to build up our mutual confidence, and also to lay a solid foundation for mutual beneficial cooperation and people-to-people -people exchange so that we can build a shared future for mankind. On behalf of the Chinese Embassy in India and also the Chinese people, I would like to take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the friends present here and through you to all the friends in Pondicherry and other states. And also I want to express my uh, sincere gratitude to the organizations of friendship across India. You are also making your efforts to promote such uh, uh, understanding and uh, mutual friendship. So, all through these years, you have uh, made so many uh, efforts, and I want to take this uh, chance to express our gratitude to all of you and wish you all a bright future. Thank you very much. Well, I think uh, um, I will say a few words about uh, the uh, China-India relations. Uh, it's an important bilateral relationship, and uh, I think that we, China and India, are the biggest developing countries in this world. We have both 1.4 billion people. That's the largest population in the world. And we are also emerging economies. That means we are growing fast, and we have great potential and broad future. So if China and India, we are working together, it will mean that 2.8 billion people, or one third of the whole population in this world, will enjoy a better life. That will be a very, very important contribution a human being in this world. So we must stand together and support each other and seek for a win-win cooperation. 
I just paid a visit to China, and I still vividly remember that uh, more than two years ago, President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, they had the second informal leaders summit in Mahabharata. And uh, I still remember those uh, touching, you know, uh, memories or the uh, scenes that uh, when President Xi arrived in Chennai, the local people are dancing and singing, dressed in beautiful costumes to express their welcome and warm hospitality from Namibia. I think that uh, this is a reflection of the uh, friendship between our two peoples. And the two leaders had a very profound and uh, friendly discussion, and they have reached the consensus that uh, China and India, we are partners, and uh, we offer each other opportunities in the future rather than rivals. And uh, China and India, like elephant and dragon, we should dance together. <laughs> this is the best choice for both of us, and also for the future of the world. Uh, although we have differences, maybe, but this is natural between neighbors and between big countries. The things that we can do is that we can manage those differences, not allowing those differences to become disputes, and put it in an appropriate place in the bilateral relations. But more importantly, we should work together to also enlarge our common interests and mutual understanding so that we can build a solid foundation for our practical cooperation in the future. In the past few years, we have seen ups and downs, but generally speaking, I think the trend is there that the bilateral relationship should move forward. And we can see that now there is a positive momentum for the improvement of our bilateral relations. So what I can do is we will work together with the Indian side, the government and the people and organizations to continuously promote our friendship, uh, encourage the people to uh, uh, support China-India friendship, and also try to make better understanding about our two great nations and civilizations, and also promote trade and uh, commercial cooperation, people-to-people -people exchange, cultural exchange, and also cooperation to fight against the pandemic. We are also encouraging local government exchange. Actually, we would like to see more and more sister cities or provinces between China and India. And by the way, I can share with you that uh, during the uh, Chennai summit, uh, both leaders have agreed that uh, Tamil Nadu can establish a sister uh, relation with the uh, province of Fujian and also Chennai with Quanzhou. And in the future, I would like also to uh, encourage Pondicherry to maybe establish some kind of uh, friendship uh, relation with Chinese cities or provinces. That will also be a new way for us to uh, have closer communication with each other. And also, I would like to say that uh, in this world that is fast changing, China and India also share lots of common interests. We uphold uh, multilateralism. We believe that uh, all the uh, sovereignty and territorial integrities should be respected. And also, we believe that there should be a fair and a just international order, especially to safeguard the common interests of developing countries. And we also share lots of common ground in big issues like uh, energy 
security, food security, climate change, um, and also for uh, fair global governance. So there are lots of uh, fields that we can coordinate and cooperate with each other since we are the two biggest developing countries. I can see the common interests overwhelms the differences and uh, the future of China India relations is bright. So we should work together for that future. And uh, I just would like to take this opportunity also to share with you uh, some of the ideas or even some good news uh, with you. Uh, first, let me congratulate this uh, very successful event uh, being held as scheduled. Uh, I know that uh, uh, China and India, we have such a long history of exchange, but uh, for uh, uh, this part of India, southern India, I think we need to uh, make new introduction to Chinese people. So, th so that's why we come here and also we commemorate uh, the contribution of uh, Mr. Bharati and uh, uh, Mr. Xu Fan Cheng. Uh, I know that uh, Mr. Bharati is a great poet of Tamil uh, language, uh, but I also uh, admire his uh, contribution to the independence of India. He really supports that and he gives lots of uh, aspiration to the Indian people to fight against colonialism and also to seek for freedom. So that is uh, the spirit of Mr. Bharati. So he's not only a contributor for the literature, but also for the rich spirit. And, and uh, you know, it's a kind of uh, cherished and legendary you know, uh, uh, heritage that left over to all the Indian people. We would like to introduce Mr. Bharati's poems and also his contribution to the Chinese people so that more and more Chinese people can understand not only the beauty of your literature but also the strong spirit and strength of uh, the Indian people. And also Professor Xu Fan Cheng he has been praised by many Chinese people as the modern or contemporary Xuanzang because he lived in Pondicherry. My friend told me he lived here for 27 years. And he spent altogether 33 years in India and uh, translated a huge amount of uh, Indian uh, works books into Chinese language, including uh, uh, Upanishad uh, and also the Gita uh, into Chinese. You know, these uh, uh, ancient uh, words reflect the civilization and the culture of uh, India. So uh, by translating these uh, words, Chinese people can have a better understanding of that. The translation takes lots of his time, and uh, if you put all his books uh, here, it could be this time. So he is a great contributor for the uh, exchange of culture between us. And then later on, he went back to China, and uh, I think he worked in, uh, worked in the uh, Beijing University for the rest of his life, but continually translating and also acting as a bridge of culture between our two peoples. So we will never forget that. I remember that uh, I had uh, uh, participated in a seminar in the year 2020 to uh, release a book commemorating the contribution of Professor Xi And uh, I also would like to see here uh, the Xu Fan Cheng uh, 
Cultural Studies Centre. Uh, this afternoon I will visit the centre and see by myself how many Africans uh, uh, this is uh, uh, brother and uh, other friends have been made to carry on such a tradition and contribution of Professor Xi Fanchen nowadays and uh, have more and more people benefit from his contribution to, uh, to this uh, culture and the people to people exchange. That is the first uh, uh, impression I'd like to share with you. The second impression, uh, the second good news is that uh, we know in southern India uh, there's a very high uh, literacy rate and many uh, children have been educated and uh, they would like to seek for higher education in the future. So the Chinese uh, embassy here in India, we would like to provide more opportunities for the local students to study in China. Uh, let me announce here that uh, in the next three years, the Chinese embassy in India will contact the relevant Chinese universities and academic research institutions to provide four scholarships each year in the coming three years to the India-China Friendship Association. especially the 
the uh, China uh, India China Friendship Association. So we will uh, keep in close contact with the uh, Friendship Association uh, from uh, Pondicherry, from uh, Kerala, from uh, Tamil Nadu, and from uh, and many other traditions. Uh, uh, we would also like to. Uh, uh, have a regular exchange of visits and also we will try to bring more and more Chinese people to participate in such a force. That's why we invited uh, Ambassador Jiang Jiang today uh, from the Chinese uh, Friendship Association so that we can establish a direct contact with Chinese uh, Friendship Association and then we can organize more and more activities like this so that we can have a direct contact. Actually, I think the work we are doing is building the bridge. And building a bridge is always better than building a wall. So we must uh, you know, take away the walls and open our hearts and also have direct contacts. I think uh, the pandemic cannot prevent us from doing so. Any kind of difficulty will not prevent us from doing so. With your support, we will see a bright future. And I will say that that future especially lies in the hands of the young generation. So we would like to see more and more people participating in this great cause. I see those young faces. I see the lovely children. They are the future of China India friendship and we hope in the future they will become the people's ambassadors of China and India so that they can build more and more bridges to link our hearts together. With these words, I wish today's event a full success and I hope the good health and happiness of uh, all my friends here and through you to all the friends in Pondicherry. Thank you.